Welcome back friends. Let's move on to the next topic that is CSS selectors. So what exactly is a CSS selector? A selector in CSS is basically this way using which you can style a specific element on your HTML page. So what does it mean? Let's go back to Sublime and understand this. So we are back on Sublime text. Let's first create a new file and let's save it as selector demo dot html let's quickly add the html tags let's add a head a title which will say selector demo and a body the body will say uh, for our example we are going to use three <coughs> three different h3 tags this will be first one h3 second one h3 third one save in fact let's do one more thing let's add a link to our css file css great let's save it go to the project folder and open it and as you can see this is how our page looks so now let's take example what we want is we want to change the font color of the second h3 from black to red so up until now whenever we wanted to change or add any css properties of a particular html element we used to do it in our css file so let's open our css file this is our css file and over here this is h3 it has a background color of yellow so suppose if i want to make it or give it a color of red i would have done that done it like this save reload but now you can see a problem once you specify any property to the element it uh, it gives the property to all the elements present on the web page but we don't want that what we want is we want to individually control each of the elements so that we can style them so here comes the css selector there are two main selectors uh, in css we'll discuss the first one of them it's called an id an id can be considered like a roll number like you guys have a roll number in your college so even though two or three or more students have same name yet they can be differentiated by their role numbers because that is always unique so similarly on your html page or document you can also assign ids to similar html elements so that you can differentiate them while using css let's take an example what i want to do is i want to assign all three of them different ids like this so id is basically an attribute to an html element which is assigned like this first id is equal to second and id is equal to third save always remember you can have only one id in one page like you can't repeat the same id again on a html document so it has to be unique on a page okay now using these ids we are going to style the elements so as you can see the id of the second h3 tag is second so we will use this second word to style the h3 so whenever first of all let me delete uh, this piece of code so whenever you want to style an id in your style sheet you first tell the browser by a hash symbol that you want to style an id and then you have to use the name of the id and you can see that the color has been green instead of pink now what we will do is i'll open the curly braces and i'll write color red now i'll save and hit reload mm, there is some error uh, let's see what it is second 
yeah right uh, there was some caching issue so now you can see the second id is red similarly we can do this we can add third and the font family to be courier save see this is how you can individually control similar elements using css <clears throat> now let's move on to the second css selector that is class so now let's take one more scenario what if i want the second and the third should have a font size of 40 pixels and now you would say that i'll use the two ids that is second and third and give them similar css properties but don't you think it's an inefficient way of doing things what if there are thousands of h3s on a web page and you want 600 to be of similar styling in that case will you be writing 600 different uh, pieces of similar code no it's highly inappropriate to solve this issue we have a css selector called class so a class is basically the selector which you assign to an html id and brings them or group them into one particular group so what we will do over here is we will add a class name which will be same for the second and the third id to add a class name in html we write it like this again class 2 is a it's an attribute so let's add a class to our second h3 and let's name it as large underscore font and similarly on the third h3 and let's name it as large underscore font so now you can consider the same analogy this guy has a roll number of second this guy has a roll number of third but both of them are studying in the same class that is CSE second year this is what it means so now the faculty can individually give them projects by their roll numbers or he can give them a collective project to a class so what now what we are going to do is first of all we are saving this and now we are going back to our css and we are adding some css properties to this particular class large font so to add css properties to a class we use dot dot large font and inside over here we will add font size 40 pixels and now this property will be added to all the html elements who have the class of large font let's save this and reload and now you can see the first s3 is as it is and the second and third have larger fonts so this is how we use css selectors to style your web page.